In the deepest reaches of space, where time seems to stretch and the very fabric of reality feels thinner, Voyager 1 continues its lonely voyage. Launched when disco ruled the Earth and mankind hadn't yet imagined smartphones or the Internet, this spacecraft has outlived its creator's wildest dreams. But what if its most important message didn't arrive in its early years? But just now, nearly five decades later, what if, in the frozen silence beyond the heliosphere, Voyager 1 has stumbled upon something impossible? Recently, NASA scientists monitoring the spacecraft's transmissions noticed something strange, something that defies logic, engineering, and everything we thought we knew about deep space. This isn't just a glitch. This is an anomaly, a signal that doesn't belong. And what makes it truly terrifying is that Voyager 1 may not have sent it alone. As we dive into this mystery, one question hangs heavy over the scientific community. Has Voyager 1 made contact with something or someone out there? Voyager 1's journey began on September 5th, 1977, as part of NASA's ambitious plan to explore the outer planets. Initially, its mission was modest. Collect data from Jupiter and Saturn, send back a few high-resolution images, and then fade into history. But Voyager wasn't built to die quietly. Thanks to a rare planetary alignment, it used gravitational slingshots to boost its trajectory into the unknown, becoming the first man-made object to enter interstellar space. For 45 years, it has sent back priceless data on cosmic radiation, plasma waves, and magnetic fields, operating far beyond its expected lifespan. Today, Voyager 1 drifts over 15 billion miles from Earth, yet it remains stubbornly alive. It uses a dwindling power source, a radioactive isotope generator to keep a few core instruments online and through NASA's deep space network, it still whispers to us across the void. The signal is faint, the data is slow, but the legacy is monumental. However, nobody expected that its latest message would be its most shocking. In early 2022, something strange happened. NASA engineers noticed that Voyager 1 was transmitting a repetitive stream of data, an endless loop of binary code that made no sense. At first, they assumed a fault in the telemetry system. A glitch, perhaps. After all, this was a 45-year-old spacecraft operating in hostile space. But the deeper they looked, the more unsettling things became. The signal wasn't random. It had structure. And more disturbing still, it seemed to come from a computer onboard Voyager that hadn't functioned in decades. Engineers scrambled to redirect the data flow, and eventually, they restored normal communication. But the question remained, how did the probe decide to reroute its signal through a dead system? Under normal conditions, built-in fail-safes would prevent that. There were no error alerts, no warnings. It was as if Voyager 1 had intentionally rerouted its data without human command, a rogue maneuver that seemed in every way impossible. While the glitch itself raised eyebrows, what followed next turned skepticism into silent fear. When data transmission resumed, the readings were different. Voyager 1 sensors began reporting energy fluctuations unlike anything previously recorded in interstellar space, patterns in the magnetic field, unexplained oscillations in plasma density, and embedded within the signal, a faint pulse not natural, not cosmic noise, a rhythmic, deliberate beat, almost like a fingerprint etched into the fabric of space. NASA, trying to downplay the implications, suggested possible instrumentation degradation. But internal memos and leaked communications painted a different picture. A few scientists, off the record, admitted that the data pattern resembled artificial interference, as if Voyager had passed through or near a zone of technology not made by human hands. The probe didn't just stumble into darkness. It brushed up against something, structured. With the anomaly growing harder to explain, NASA turned to machine learning. An AI system was trained on decades of Voyager data to isolate irregularities. What it found shocked the research team. The pattern embedded in the signal bore eerie similarities to coded transmissions, almost as if it were a handshake protocol, an attempt at contact. But from where? And why now? after so many silent years. A Nobel Prize-winning physicist brought in as a consultant reportedly warned that the data pattern resembled what some theoretical models had predicted for non-human communication. If true, this wouldn't just be the most important discovery in Voyager's history. It could be the single most transformative moment in human civilization. 
The world holds its breath as NASA prepares to release a statement. But some are already asking, are we ready for what Voyager 1 may have found? As scientists dug deeper into the signal, something even more bizarre emerged. By running spectral analysis through Voyager's telemetry archive, researchers realized that this wasn't the first time such an anomaly had appeared. There were faint traces, echoes, if you will, in older transmissions from years ago. But back then, they had been dismissed as noise, static. Now, with fresh eyes and enhanced AI interpretation, those past anomalies began to form a chain, a breadcrumb trail across deep space pointing to a single direction, a region just beyond the heliopause where solar winds end and the true interstellar medium begins. That area, previously thought to be barren, now appears to house an energy field unlike any we've cataloged. It pulses, it moves, and it seems to react, subtly, to the presence of Voyager 1. It's as if the probe wasn't merely passing through a random part of space, but as if something there had been waiting, observing. And now that it's seen us, it's starting to respond. Among the strangest elements of this encounter lies something that could rewrite the rules of physics. When researchers adjusted for Doppler shift and examined the timing of Voyager's transmissions, they discovered a delay that didn't match the expected trajectory. A delay that shouldn't have been possible, unless time itself had been distorted. One hypothesis floated inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is staggering. That Voyager 1 may have passed through a temporal boundary, a zone in space where time and causality behave unpredictably. This isn't just fringe speculation. The data suggests that Voyager's own onboard clock was offset by milliseconds that simply don't add up. Some engineers believe the probe may have experienced time dilation, not due to speed, but due to proximity to an unknown gravitational or energetic anomaly. And if that's true, then what Voyager 1 is reporting might not be happening now. It might already have happened. Or worse, it might be something yet to come. Let's not forget, Voyager 1 didn't leave Earth empty-handed. It carried with it the golden record, a phonograph disc containing images, sounds, music, and messages from humanity, a hopeful introduction to whoever or whatever might find it. For decades, it was considered a poetic gesture, not a real attempt at contact. But in the context of this recent encounter, the golden record takes on new weight. Because buried deep within the anomaly's signal was a frequency, one that matches the tone used to encode sections of the golden record. Not by coincidence, but by reference. It's as if something out there had received the message and was now replying in kind. A reverse handshake, a signature, one that had been waiting for us to listen. This raises a haunting question. If something has received our message, how long has it been decoding it? How long has it been observing? And why wait until now to respond? And then, silence. After the pulse, after the strange routing of data, after the impossible oscillations and mysterious tones, Voyager 1 returned to its normal stream, routine telemetry, as if nothing had ever happened. But the team at NASA is convinced this isn't over. They're watching, listening, analyzing. Because silence in this case doesn't mean absence. It means decision. Whatever Voyager encountered chose not to reveal everything at once. It left us a sliver of the truth, just enough to make us question, just enough to make us look again. Perhaps that was the point all along, to wake us up, to remind us that beyond the veil of stars, there are things moving, watching, waiting. And now that we've heard, the real question is, are we ready to listen? For decades, Voyager 1 has floated through the cosmos as our silent messenger, a bottle cast into the galactic sea carrying our voice across the stars. But maybe that bottle didn't just drift. Maybe it was found. And maybe the response has finally arrived. What Voyager 1 experienced in deep space, an impossible signal, an artificial rhythm, a reaction that breaks our understanding of physics, wasn't just random noise. It was deliberate, structured, purposeful. And then, just like that, silence. As if whatever was out there wanted to remind us of its presence but not yet reveal its full intentions. This wasn't contact in the way we imagined. No glowing saucers, no thunderous announcement. It was subtle, mathematical. A quiet tap on our cosmic shoulder asking, are you really ready for the truth? Because if Voyager 1 did make contact, 
if this really was an encounter, then everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe has just been rewritten. The era of cosmic solitude may be over, and the era of cosmic awareness has just begun. If this story stirred something inside you, if you felt even a flicker of fear, awe, or wonder, then don't let this message be lost. Subscribe to the channel, because what's coming next will shake the very foundations of science. Share this video before the signal fades, and tell us in the comments, what do you think Voyager 1 really encountered out there? Because the universe just whispered, and now it's your turn to answer.